What goes around comes around. Have you ever heard that phrase before? Hi, I'm Trudy Behrman of TrudyBehrman.com, host of Debt Free Wealth Radio. Now, I've had some conversations with entrepreneurs recently, and the theme was the same. So I just had this aha moment and I just had to share it with you. We were talking about different ways to boost sales of our products. And, you know, I mentioned some resources, some websites, some products that were out there that could potentially achieve that, help us, you know, move our products even more. And as I, as we had these conversations, like, eh, maybe I could do it myself. Oh, it's too expensive. Not right now. All this stuff. And I'm not selling them anything, right? I'm like, whoa, hold on a second. The same conversation that you're having right now, remember it. Take a snapshot of exactly what's going on in your head, because this conversation that you're having about why you don't want to purchase item A or item B right now is exactly the conversation that those potential clients that you're hoping will shop with you are having as they look at your product or service. So think about it. Now, what I'm not saying you have to buy everything that's out there. I'm just saying, think about that conversation. Why won't you purchase something that you've already identified that you you need and could potentially do what you're looking for? If you can capture those exact questions as to why you're not making a purchase decision when you're looking straight at something you really want, need, potentially could solve your problem, then capture that moment. Think about those exact statements that are going through your head and answer them in benefit form for your potential client because you know they're having the same conversation. Put it right there in front of them in bullet form in benefits or in the frequently asked questions because they are having that exact conversation. But I promise you guys what goes around comes around. If you can't find value in another entrepreneur's work and effort as they try to feed their family, don't think that people are going to find value in yours either. Now, I'm not saying we're to buy everything that's out there. I'm just saying, think about those questions, those statements, those comments that come into your head as you evaluate somebody else's product and just capture it because those questions are going to come as people evaluate yours. And if you answer them and answer them in a benefit fashion, you're going to see those sales go up. But remember to always value somebody else's effort because nobody works for free, unless, especially in the commercial space. There's a lot of humanitarian, wonderful volunteers out there. But in the in the commercial space, we don't really work for free. So guys, that's just my word for you today. And listen, if you found this video to be of any value, can I ask that you would give me some love? Like my page, comment below. I hope you do because I look forward to connecting with you.